Hey, what's going on, everybody? Anonymous Disco, uh, back with some backbone. Uh, last we left off, uh, we met that fox girl, Renee. Um, we snuck into those guys' apartment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already seen this cutscene. Um, but we snuck into those guys' apartment, figured out that, uh, it's like the Minister of Science, uh, this Clarissa girl kind of is in, uh, in talks with, uh, there's something going on, they're cooking up a little something, um, they got some kind of deal, like she's supplying him with all this meat, and, uh, he's gotta give her, I don't know, some kind of science experiment shit that they're working on, and work in theory I've got going on, it's gonna be maybe something to do with, um, like, they're trying to evolve into, like, humans or some shit. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, uh, I think we already read this conversation, but, uh, we'll go through it again. Uh, that you, Street Hawk? Right. That's what I said last time. Since when we use code names. Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyhow, uh, how's it been going over there? Uh, not so great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads now. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Damn, well stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. Maybe, I don't know what if this is a total wild geezer chase. It might be, but we don't know until we follow the leads. You should know this stuff is never handed to you on a plate. It just feels like a shot in the dark. We are in the dark. Come on, Howard. Stop moping and put in the work. Sorry, you're right. Two more doors, and they're in the si uh, in the same block of, your, of, of uh, oh my god, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. I'm hoping this building has an elevator. <laughs> we should get uh, you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches. Anyway, think positive. You got this. And if I don't got this, then we'll figure something else out. Good luck. Remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. All right. West End. Gabriella. Let's have a little chat. I'm busy. I hear you. Bye. Well, that wasn't very... Uh... What about uh, Doc? Uh, alive? Alive? Alve? West End Doctors. Jack's all of trades, master of none. Jack's of all trades, master of none. Man, the fucking art and design is so fucking cool. Superintendent. Who are you? Hmm. I'm a private investigator. Name's Howie Loader. A detective dressed like that? Like what? This is how detectives dress, because I am one. You're trash, that's what you are. Hmm, this is quite the insult. Your socks are trash. Hey, leave the socks out of this. I'm going inside now. You wanna go in? Tell me who you're visiting. Beverly Fam, okay? You don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. I actually love your socks, sorry. Huh, thanks. I guess your trench coat has a certain shabby chic to it. Thanks, peace. All right, so this is the building. Let's, uh, let's just walk around a little bit more. I don't know if there's much else to see. What is this? What animal is that, anyways? Is he another... I think he's a beaver. It's like a... Maybe like a mongoose. <laughs> no, not a mongoose, either. Labor district that way. Wouldn't go there even if my life depended on it. But we're going that way, anyways. Yummy Mart. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old yummy. Nada. If you want it, it's for sale, okay? If you need to ask, ask. Excuse me? Trench coat, yes. Mangy ear, stripey. You help my little peanut sit, yes? A 
Anything to keep the free market free. Yes, nuts must be allowed to flow freely around. I'm not sure that was Sid's notion. No, the deed that was done was a good one. Nato will remember this and give you free nuts, yes? Is this like hush money, but hush nuts? Nice, I love free stuff. Luxury mixed assortment is yours, but not now. Next time you come, customer retainment strategy. Great. You're always welcome at Nata's, but not today. Next time, cha-cha, darling. Weird. Say hi to Sid, cha-cha. Yeah, Sid's a good kid. He's a good kid. Oh, here's, uh, Bo again. Now he's Poe. <clears throat> Howdy, Poe's the name. News is the game. Howdy, Poe. So, what's the news on the street? Lots of excitement going around about the uh, parade. Apparently, it's sold out in record time this year. Impressive that you've even disguised your voice. I'm an honest guy with an honest voice. I'm not sure I like what you're implying here. What I don't get is, well, everything. Current affairs can be complex, puzzled to unravel. Let me know if you'd like something explaining. Hmm. <laughs> you can just be yourself, Mo. Who is this Bo fella you're confusing with me? Confusing me with? I said Mo. You said Bo. You fucking slipped. I can see how it's confusing if we look alike. Mo Bo is no. He's your. You're all the same. He's your, you're all the same person. Shh, calm down. You'll do yourself a mischief. So you admit it. Admit what? I'm just minding my manners like old mother Flo taught me. Goodbye, Mo Popo. Yeah. Nothing that way but sadness and sore feet. What's the deal? Are those mannequins in the wall? You see those, like the dog and cat looking thing? I don't know. Fucking weird, man. Fucking weird, man. Alright, let's go to that apartment building. Here we are. Enter the building. Car. Elevator. Door number one. Oh, what? Alright, I gotta go. Control panel. Four fly. Oh, okay, just start at five. Books. Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up a similar thing in my building. Ah, that sounds like a lot of work. Knock. Knock gently. Do not gently. I think I hear someone in there. Beverly, can I help you? Beverly Pham? You're Leslie's mother? Do you have a minute, ma'am? What's this regarding? I'm on my way out. About Leslie. Howard Loader. I'm a private investigator. Private? What does that mean? It means I'm not police. I'm my own person. So why in Shepard's good name are you wasting your time out here? Other girls went missing too. I want to find the connection. I've got my own life to live. And not enough time to live it. When did Leslie disappear? No, I ain't gonna go over it all again. <sighs> Can't get you here. Did Leslie act weird before disappearing? I don't have time for this. There's nothing you can do. I want to find these girls. Now I'm going to be late for work at a real job. Hmm. 
I know it's hard, but maybe the others are still at risk. What I want is to move on and not get my pay dock for being late so Henry doesn't go hungry. Can I speak to Henry? Doesn't Henry deserve to know the truth? Oh, hi. Henry, get back inside this instant. Hey there, Henry. Is he looking for Leslie? Maybe my nose. My? This instant, Henry. Sorry to keep you, but who's my? I, I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Another time? I don't want to make you late. I'm sorry, but no. I think it's best we leave it here. I'll walk with you. Just go and don't come back. I'm sorry, but please just leave us alone. That's really what you want, of course. Sorry, really, bye. It's okay. Thanks, Beverly. Be safe. Try to be nice. Try to be as nice as possible, but uh, we give jack shit. I guess I got my. No, my. 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 We got my. Look at this, uh, looker. Luxie. Beat it, granddad. Did you know anything of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. How come? We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. Sounds like a fun club. We're not a club, we're a self governing. Uh, inner counter cultural movement. Uh, very cool. Keep at it. Thanks, Granddad. You live on this floor? Nah. Why? Breaking down, got a reputation, makes it a cool hang spot. Like a clubhouse. We're not a club. Get gone, Granddad. Off I go. Bean. Caw. Why? Black eyes. Burning eyes. Caw, caw. You understand. This is good. I am a crow. Good for you, kid. Kids these days, I tell ya. No respects. Knock. Looks like nobody's home. Alright, I guess I'm going in the doorless door. Guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Yeah, silence. Okay. Nothing really. Guess maybe uh for let's let's just make sure I've seen everything. <gasps> I almost left without seeing this. Boarded up door. This dredges up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this life. Mattress. The Zanes are mysterious and unappealing. I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Yeah, okay. Alright, there's nothing here. We got the name Mai. Perhaps a Mai would know something, so I'm gonna go, go ask around about that. <sighs> Guess maybe we'll check floor five out one last time, make sure I didn't miss anything. Stairs. I'm tired, I'll treat myself to the elevator. <clears throat> Door. She made herself clear, I wouldn't bother her again. Wish I could talk to that kid though. Bicycle. Whoever owns this rusty bike is very trusting. Most likely it's broken. Right, because someone would steal it. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Alright. Going uh, back to floor one. Maybe. Oh. Oh no. It's okay. I won't make trouble. Going down? Yes, thanks. Pleasure. Beats taking the stairs, right? 
Yeah, that's what elevators are for. Is it a reliable elevator? Not broken down in 15 years I've been here. It's uh, doing better than me. Oh, this chick is giving me nothing. Uh, here we are. Uh, ladies first. Wait, Beverly went to work. That must mean Henry is alone. Yeah, let's go uh, diddle the kid, I guess. <laughs> Their mother home. <laughs> um, hi. Hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Hi, you don't look like a detective, really. What should a detective look like? Much cooler and scarier. Um, why is no okay? Uh, at least I'm not scary. Speaking of, you okay without your mom? I don't want to look after myself. Now I want to look after Leslie. Is she okay? Can you really find her? Honestly, Henry, I don't know yet, but I promise I'll try my best. Okay, but don't tell mom. Why doesn't she want to talk about it? I don't know. She always gets mad if I ask. Henry, were you going to say something earlier about Leslie? Mm, but mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my own bed too. I'm proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone called my... Leslie's friend, Mai. Did you know Mai well? She always brought me sweets. Mmm, nice. Which ones? The little pink fuzzy ones. Bug snacks. Hey, good reference. Good ref. Good ref. I'm going to say that one. You mean bug snacks? Even knows those are the worst. Bug snacks is 2020 game. You're kidding. Alright? You should be talking shit on the snacks. Uh, ew, no, those are the worst. What about sparkle drops? No way, those are gross. How was the taste? Sour or really sweet? Sour, I guess. I don't know. Oh, fuck, why am I talking about... I need to get to fucking... Uh, why am I talking to this kid about candy? Uh, do they have a kind of swirly pattern? Yes, the swirly never ends. Aha! Then you must be talking about fizzle boopers. Yeah, fizzle boopers. Have you got any? No, but we solved a mystery. Well done, Henry. Yay. Henry, we've taken a tangent. What's mine's full name? My loader. Wish I lived with her instead. You don't like Leslie? My is way cooler. She never shouted at me for, uh, for making us poor. Henry, none of this is your fault. I hope not. I don't want to be bad. Sorry, little bud. Do you know where Mai lives? With her weird, stinky brother, Samson. Nearby in these flats? No, down the road. The house with the red door. Thanks, Henry. You've been super helpful. Um, if you see Mai... You want me to tell her to visit? Yeah, don't tell her I asked, though. I'll see what I can do, little buddy. I'd better go check on Mr. Fluffo now. Look after him and your mom. I'll protect. Bye, Mr. Detective. You can call me Howard. Bye, kid. Alrighty. Let's go... Back to the West End. West End girls. So you do you want to talk now, Gabriella? I'm still busy. Gotcha. You're a very attractive uh, mouse woman. Hot <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, this must be the one. Knock. Samson Loader. Who are you and what do you want? I am Howard Loader, P.I. Don't trust your kind. Yeah, well, it's my I want to speak to. My is not home. Where is she? Who do you think I am, huh? Her brother? Do you know Leslie Pham? Shh, careful. Anyone can be listening. Come in, come in. You got some explaining. Uh, okay, sure. Oh, he's a skunk. That's why he stinks. Speak and don't bullshit me. Where's my? I'd like to talk to her. Why? What do you want from what? What, what do you want from her? What do you want her for? Oh my God! Speak. I'm investigating girls missing from this area. You have a theory? You must have a theory, and it better be good. I don't work with amateurs. What do you mean, work with? She's gone. Are you going to help look for her, or are you wasting my fucking time? You're saying Mai's also missing? Yes, you absolute fucking idiot. I'm asking again, what are your theories? They're locked up somewhere. Not Mai, she's smart. She'd see that coming. I'm guessing you've been looking for her. I've been looking, of course. I went to the bite. Discover anything? Just that Clarissa Bloodworth is a stone cold bitch. Couldn't have said it better myself. Right on. But my respected her. Why? Isn't it obvious? She's protected. You mean by the apes? Yes, yes, exactly. What's on your mind? The apes are ruling their secret blood shadow alliance. But it's a well-known secret. So... What's the alliance up to? Total control of every aspect of our lives. The government is a front by night. They wear blood red cloaks and throw cannibal feast. It's an ancient order. So, how did you hear about all this? Don't interrupt. You might think the apes founded the Alliance, right? The apes founded everything, so they say. Well, the Alliance was with the Bears, the most powerful family of which was the, was the Bloodworth, as they're known now, hence the Blood. Right, so you mean Clarissa helped found the Red Coat Society. Red Cloak Society. <laughs> you idiot, her grandfather did. Clarissa comes from a long line of ape lovers. So much so that she's fucking one. That she's fucking one. For real, which one? Lena Wenderbilt. Who is she? Prime Minister's second cousin, once removed. Can you imagine? Didn't know Clarissa swing that way. She's a lady killer, yeah, and she can get any she can get away with it. The apes won't ever let anyone touch her. I think we better get back to my. Fine, but quickly. I'm here too long and might tip someone off. What was my like as a person? She's pure, kind, brave. She's a survivor, and I probably owe her my life. How old was she? She's nineteen. Don't talk her about her. Don't talk about her in past tense, you fucking prick. You love her, huh? 
more than anything. Was she ever into drugs? No. She didn't need any of that shit to be happy. She was strong. I'm sure she still is. The strongest. Did anything happen between you and mine before she went missing? What are you implying, punk? Maybe she was acting weird. Nah, things were good. Hmm. I suppose her friend had just gone missing. Leslie? No, not that bitch. I think her name was uh, Rose. <laughs> I just, I get so into the characters and start, like, ad <laughs> it is It's great. The writing is, is, is really great in this game. Uh, my knew her well. The girls are tight-knit around here, pretty much. All worked in the factory together at some point. Before joining that steak den. Rose also worked at the bite. Yeah, thinking about it, I think she was the first of them to start at the bite. Maybe the other girls know something? Trust me, I've tried that lead. No dice. How long was Maya at the bite? A couple of months. Felt like forever. What was her job there? She started off as a waitress. She got promoted within a couple of months. Yeah, to what? She wouldn't tell me. She said she just worked upstairs. Yeah, we also heard, like, it seems like the upstairs of the bite is some kind of, like, I don't know, the most, like a prostitution thing or, or something like that. They, like get really high on this monkey butt and then like fuck these chicks or whatever it seems like the kind of mr green was doing that um the original guy kind of might be this way of like luring them in uh to kill them uh as well like this monkey butt thing the drug uh it must have some kind of other property than just like getting high there, there, there's probably some other reason why they um are using it but anyways dude i don't know i'm just talking i'm just thinking out loud anyways uh she wouldn't tell me she just said she worked upstairs did she change uh, after the promotion she seemed prouder yeah she was doing good i guess did my have any close friends i met a few mostly factory girls until they became bike girls leslie fam was her friend there's no way she was really friends with that slut. Easy there, pal. What's your problem? She made me love her, okay? To get close to my and break us apart. She made me love her, okay? To get close to my and break us apart. Weird. Why would she do that? She was always on the jack. Trying to butter you up so you'd visit the bite. And she looked good to her boss. Do you think my loved her? Probably. Everyone did. Samson, did you do anything to get back to Leslie? No. Sometimes I wish I did. I just felt so alive when she was around. Do I know about your feelings for Leslie? I don't know. Maybe she guessed it. I just worry. What if that's why? I'm sorry, Samson. Thank you for sharing that with me. Just promise if you find out what happened, you have to tell me. What if I take a look around? Around our house? Sure, but don't touch anything or I will fucking kill you. I won't. Aquarium. Cute lizard. Seems chill. Uh, wouldn't a lizard be in a vivarium, not an aquarium? And as an aquarium imply aquatic creatures? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe the game needs an update. Maybe they could update that. I don't know. Maybe they should hire me on as a consultant. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Anyways. Sword on plinth. Wow, it's the Blade of Heroes. Maybe. Photos. That must be my loader. Whoa, dude, dude, relax. I just realized why you're really here. They sent you, didn't they? They? Who they? Who's they? 
Say your fucking say your name, fucker. Pronounce it. Howard Loader. Hmm. I see you're consistent. That doesn't prove anything. I just want to find Leslie and May. Who told you about the missing girls? Renee, my partner. How convenient you forgot to mention her before. She's my research. No one important. And you trust her? How do you know she's not a double agent? I'd be dead by now if she was. Maybe the timing isn't right, but they'll have a plan. They know. You're right, they're out there, but we're in this together. Other people are just a liability. They just get you hurt. We both want the same things. I suppose you could be an asset to my work. Right, working together for the same cause. Makes sense, makes sense. The timing has to be right, but we can't wait much longer. I'm not a wimp like you. What's the plan? Let's split up, watch our backs, bide our time. I'll give you a lead to chase. What's the lead, partner? The first one that went missing. Rose? Rose Klim... Klim... Klimenko? Klimenko? I'm gonna say Klimenko. Rose Klimenko. She must have started it all. Go talk to her mom. Who's your mom? You're dumb. Good that you have me. Her name is Florence. She's crazy as fuck. And a mastermind like you must know where she is. I can't do everything myself. Ask around. Chill. I, I got this. I'm chill. It's been real. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm gone. Dude, you're fucking nuts. You fucking paranoid fucking piece of shit. I'm trying to help you. All right, so now we're looking for Florence's mother. Poe doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Fine. Should I call Renee back? Renee, I spoke to Samson. Who now? Beverly's missing daughter, Beverly's missing daughter, Leslie, was friends with Samson's sister. My, it's a lot. Okay, yeah, that would have been useful context. My is missing too and worked at the bite. All of them did. So there is a connection. The first one who went missing is Rose Clemenko. I need to find her mother. You know how? Not yet, but I'll figure it out. Good, be sociable. Everyone knows everyone there, right? Yeah, can't imagine anything worse. You don't have to live there. You have a new home. Yeah, yeah, I'll go do the thing. Good luck, detective. Back soon, Renee. All right, now Gabriella is one I probably want to talk. I'm still busy. I'm looking for Florence Clemenko. Good for you. Do you know where I can find her? Why would I tell you that? Do you know her? Maybe. I'm investigating the missing girls. Maybe they don't want to be found. Girls your age are gone. Aren't you scared? Me? Please. I know how to look after myself. Rose could be key to finding others. Did you know Rose, her daughter? Nah. Damn, Leech didn't have friends. Just suckers. So you knew her then? Sucked the life out of the hood. Tried to sucker me and Jade, too. But we ain't falling for her shit. Uh. Working for the bites, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Gotta be really desperate to go there. Not us, mister. 
start risking so i'm like hardly doing anything i think it, <laughs> like, i don't know why like, anyway sorry off topic uh that's mr nah um I'm desperate. Just want to talk to Florence. If you upset Florence, I will fucking find you and skin you alive. You heard? Loud and clear. She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Thank you for trusting me. Yeah, make me wish I hadn't, and I will make you wish you hadn't. You get me? Where's the factory? Down the alley. You can see it from here. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Just like, even like, you look at the backgrounds, too. It's so fucking cool. Apes guide us. And then he's like holding this weird, like, little triangle thing. The apes look so creepy in this game, actually, though. That's the building. That's like, you can see this really cool statue, like, kind of in the. Uh, I can't really cool to see it. Kind of in the, the right hand corner, though. I don't know if it's a statue or just a painting or a mural or something, but uh, pretty cool stuff. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Are they rolling? Oh, here we go. Go to factory. Music's really good in this game, too. The guard is sleeping on the job. Should be easy. Just gotta find Florence. Alright, we'll go hop over the thing, dude. I'm stuck. What the hell? Is this a glitch or am I missing something? Just hop over the thing, bro. Your minute is our minute. What the hell's going on? Should there be something here? Oh, you crouch under it. Oh, okay. Fuck me. Oh, she just reminded me. I haven't fucking... Forgot about the crouch. This there is a worker. Gotta be careful. Almost there. Let's crouch again. Huh? You don't work here? Who are you? This will sound a little strange. I'm a raccoon private investigator. Is that so? Leave me alone. I spoke to Beverly Fam, Samson too. Rosie's gone. I don't know what to tell you. How long has Rosie been missing? Twenty days? Look, you gotta go. The supervisor will be here any minute. Where do you live? I can come over and talk later. Gray tenements cross the road. Block five. You wanna see Rose's room? Rosie's room? Yes, that would help a lot. Damn, fine. We could sneak out now before the super is here. Let's go. Fire eggs. Fire eggs it quickly. What? Now? Okay. So, um, what's on your mind? Just feels weird, you know, having a man here again. Can you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was so sweet, strong, always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me, but... Go on. Nah, it's nothing. I'm not here to judge, it's okay, Florence. She respected me, but she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. 
If I'd done more for us, maybe, maybe. Don't blame yourself. You did nothing wrong. And we didn't always talk as much as we might have. I got so tired from work, she didn't want to burden me. She's still not your fault. She's so much more creative than me. Clever, too. Don't know where she got that from. Sorry to ask, but any reason she could have run away, perhaps? I mean, a hundred ones. But no, she would have told me if she was that unhappy. Thanks. I'll get looking. Okay, just put stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. Of course. Big yellow flower with thorns looks like a cheap decor piece you get at a supermarket. Bong. It's a sad, empty vase. Oh, wait. I see. Pictures. White petals, small yellow uh, center. The artist was a child, I hope. Bathroom. Always start with the bathroom. Small heart-shaped leaves spilling down the pot, looking pretty sad, relatable. Shower. Neglected. Hasn't been looked after in decades. Reminds me of my childhood. Book on flowers. The Meaning of Flowers. A Guide to Spiritual bo uh, Botany. Botany. Sorry. For beginners, look up what white flower. Bellus perennis is a common species of daisy of the fam uh, of the family Ast Astera. Uh, whatever. Often considered the archetypal species of that name. Read on. It exhibits the phenomenon of heliotropism where the flowers follow the position of the sun in the sky read on the name daisy is considered a corruption of day's eye because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning daisy is also commonly known as mary's rose look up the yellow flower a rose is a flowering plant of the genus rosa in the family Rosa Kai say rose plants range in size from compact miniature roses to climbers that can reach seven meters high. Rose prickles on typically sickle shaped hooks, which aid the rose in hanging onto other vegetation when growing over it. Roses are also known as great fire flowers due to being heavily featured in the myth of creation. Look up heart-shaped plant. Heartleaf philodendron is a species of flowering plant in the family whatever. <laughs> Parts of the plant contain calcium, oxalate, crystals in varying concentrations. The plant is known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. <gasps> This feels so familiar. If I turn on the lights, I can meet a friendly family of cockroaches. Much cozier than the rest of the house, as if Rose never went missing and is going to come home soon. Poor Florence. You know what's weird, actually? I just clued into this. They got a bunch of, like, animals in cages, but they themselves are animals. You know, we got kind of like a... You guys remember Franklin? Or not Franklin. I mean Arthur. It's, uh... Like, Arthur, they're all animals, but they had a pet dog, too. So, like, what the fuck's going on, you know? Bird. Chirp. Chirp me? Posters. Monkey boys. Groovy. Terminal. Welcome, Rose. Enter your password. Uh, Clarissa? Password incorrect. Two attempts left. The universe. Rose Clemenko? That Shit, I forgot my password. Question number one. Favorite flower? Keep singing the 
Good music, Daisy. Question number two, favorite bands. I need to think. Well, isn't it the Monkey Boys? Quit teller, Cat Terry. She's the real shit. Cuddle Boys, shit. Larry and I used to blast them in our dorm. Oh, good times. When finally Teary or a monkey boys. Question number three, pet's name. Chirp. If only you could tell me your name. Ah, name, name. Gerda name. B. Howard. <laughs> What's yours? Gawk Howard, Howard a bird. In the corner of your Clever boy, what's your name? Boing. Your name is Boing? Boing, 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 weep. You make name, please. Wah, wah, wee, wah. I'm never ever interrogating a bird again. Stupid bastard. Now I'm being shit talked by a bird. Hee 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 hee. Okay, you're not so dumb. A pretty bird is. Ingus. Ignis. Wark. Ignis. Go for the eyes. Pleasure working with you, Ignis. That must have been the pet. Ing Ignis. Welcome back, Rose. There we go. Fuck yeah! Alright, we're in! Alright. School. 15 kilobytes. Work. Secret. Oh, they got little things. Okay, secret. Before text. Sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I wish I could wash it away. Oh, I, there's no wish in that. I, I just added that. Sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't fill me. It doesn't touch my shoulders, my knees, or my thighs. I sit there silently, waiting, breathing, letting the air in. She's made of liquor. Tears, empty, envelops nothing in between. I am others. During. Today is Thursday. I'm sick of being bold and the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head, but the theater is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier. Therefore, I remember the music, but not the lyrics. After. Would you like to have some soup? Not really, I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination. Like that time went, went through slicing. Like that time went through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking. The flesh speaks too, saying, I am, I am, I am. Leslie. Leslie, I love you. I am taken by this newfound, multifaceted, moving force, commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an expanded space left empty, waiting to let in bigger things. Nothing escaped, and nothing gravitated around the hole. It just sat there, without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then, out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole, the whole of my being. What was once me now demands a new definition, new borders, new coping mechanisms. I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of my eyes that they were once blind, now I know. We spoke about our future and how it's impossible 
but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Let me know. I am going to stay with you, whatever you decide. Crazy. All right. Well, I mean, she wrote some pretty crazy ass fucking poetry uh, that I'm not gonna try to discern right now. But uh, I guess the the main thing I'm taking from that is that the Clarissa, the boss, I imagine that they're talking about, uh, found some kind of way for them to escape the wall that surrounds the city. Moving on. Alright, work. Clients. Holy shit. Project Artifact? What the fuck could that be? Uh, what was the name of... There's clearly something exciting going down in Science City. I need to tell Renee. I'll go through these in a second. I'm just wondering... Uh, what was the name of the guy that we were first in? Something green. Uh, Buster Carpenter. Interior security thug. Official title is VIP public appearance liaison. Complete asshole. Good whiskey. Monkey butt. Always trying to touch the girls. Brags about who he's been bodyguarding to. Mainly mid-level politician who have been doing things they shouldn't have been. Good source of tip-offs. Keep happy. Accountant. This is Frederick Muller. Accountant, creepy accountant, talks very little, doesn't bother the girls directly, but stares. No one likes him. Luckily, he's a lightweight, passes out after a few, has mentioned that he manages funds for a few apes, science minister included, and hinted at knowing about the finances of the fight, hoping he'll slip up and overshare at some point. Warren Wolf, blacklisted. Weighs money around like it's nothing, science city family, but hasn't been a great source of information. Probably doesn't know anything anyway. Possessive prick got aggressive and started raising his hand at both girls and other customers. Boss threw him out, said she had ways of dealing with him if he ever comes back. Good riddance. Guy Silvers. Police chief. Talks shit about interior security. Also complains about science minister having him by the balls. Runs his mouth, but not too much useful so far. Likes to be baby talked. Asked Gina to try to track specifics about his relationship with Science Minister. Science Minister. Careful, respectful of girls. Drinks only in moderation. Secretive. Enters through the back alley. Only ever requests Leslie. Boss is, in, is a direct liaison. No one else allowed to speak to him. Seems to know Boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking about him. Leslie spilled... He mentioned Project Artifact once he once and then shut down investigate. So this is uh, this is an important one. Doug Rogers is the science minister. Only ever dealt with Leslie and Clarissa. So that's good to know. Traffic minister. Reserved among people, loud and arrogant with the girls, has at least two lovers besides his wife. Brags about his close working relationship with the science minister, but obviously never sees him at the club. Only drinks sweet stuff. No whiskey or beer. Very clearly tries to avoid the specifics of his work, but Leslie might be able to get something out of him. Ian McFerrick. Lawyer. Has a thing for Gina. Married with children. Does monkey butt like he's sipping on tea. Harmless for a lawyer, so Gina's a good fit. Owns his own firm, deals almost exclusively with apes and high city officials. Has visited both Vert and Stokes. Eddie Hung. <laughs> Head of biochemistry lab at Science City. Family man. Likes to get drunk and cry on a girl's shoulder. Seems terrified of science minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. She's seen boss speaking directly to him. When she thought was when she thought was alone, he looked depressed. Mentioned project artifact to baby Gina. That's twice now. Must be working uh, on this with the minister. Treasure. 
insufferably smug. Insufferably, sorry. Take a sip of iced tea here. Mmm. That's good shit. Insufferably smug. Food and drink is never good enough, but he keeps ordering the same thing. Everyone hates him, but he throws tips around left and right. Definitely spends money other than his own. Came in with Muller a few times, asked for private rooms, tried listening in, but didn't catch much. Uh, terse conversations? I don't know what terse means. Rose Clemenko. It's me, anchor lady with big butt. Patient, baby Gina. Patient with the men. Maybe too patient. High drug sales. Not sure how it happens. Sensitive. Try not to give her rowdy men. Not a factory girl. Moved to the West End recently. Hiring a sweet girl. But not the brightest. Young look. Petite. Fills a gap in her list. Leslie Pham. Factory girl. Close to my louder. Loader. Lotor. Those names are really similar. Lotor and Loader. Anyways, Loader. Lives with her mother and her little brother. Roots in the area. Smart girl. She should fit in quickly if hired with May as a friend. Beautiful when she enters the room. It feels like a summer day. A rumor she swings the other way. Oh. <laughs> uh, my loader. Factory girl. Leslie's best friend. Very reserved. Hiring notes. May need coaching on how to handle clients. She's a stunner, all right. Her brother is possessive. Tell the bouncer to watch out for him. So, yeah, Leslie. It seems like Leslie and this Rose girl had a, a relationship. They might have been involved with one another. Mine's her best friend. Leslie's best friend. Operation Stage 1 version finale. Rose had a system. It wasn't all chorus. I want to feel sick again. Team. Hire attractive, loyal girls that know how to make men talk. Start with the factory click. Wider West End area. Offer good pay. No sex work. Just listening, flirting, and reporting to me. Intel. Boss has access to monkey butt. Supplies help loosen tongues. Mix 50-50 with hype to make addictive. 75-25 went hooked to make them spill. Never let girls try it. Sources. Create super exclusive VIP brand to attract the big boys. Reward with guaranteed access to their favorite girls. Make sure girls make notes on dirt immediately after session for my eyes only. Deadbeats. Boss will send up candidates. Get one or two special girls to get them hooked and find out if they'd ever be miss. <coughs> oh, this is like how they... Right, this is... So they had sources for information, and they had deadbeats for killing. If they'd ever be missed, and B, write guidelines for girls when we're sure. Invite them to room two with the painting and call Sue's. So's. That's fucked up, man. Oh, he's got an achievement. Snoopy Snooper, 75G! You checked out every file on Rose's computer. Oh yeah, baby. You know, you know how I do it. Contact name Dio. Meet under the bridge on the fifth and twelfth. She'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Bloom. No way. Did Rose and some other girls go over the wall? So there was a system in place at the bite where. Um, there would be two sets of different clients, dead beats that wouldn't be missed for killing and eating, and then big names, uh, for sources of information. I guess that's how the science minister, maybe they're kind of blackmailing him as well. Um, and Clarissa has something on him. Uh, Rose and my. Um, Rose and my, no, Ro sorry, Rose and Leslie seem to have a relationship, and it seems as if, from what we can tell, they got over the wall, but who knows what the deal is there, but from what I can tell, I think all these chicks are missing, right? 
Okay, well, uh, that's a, apparently every file on her computer, so... Had a nice little read there, nice little read. Yo, Florence. Did you learn anything at all? Rose was playing a risky game. What did you find? I've been over a room a thousand times. There was secret fun. Should I just be totally open with it? I think I will. I think I will. I got nothing to lose to be totally open with Florence, I think. What'd you find? There was secret files hidden on her terminal. What now? Why would she hide them? Because it was blackmail material and plenty of it. I did always tell her to look after her own back. Good girl. So, do you think she's alive? I think she's gone into hiding. Hiding? Where? For how long? Is she in danger? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not going to ask all about your personal business, but if you mean it, thank you. I ain't got... I ain't got no one else looking out for me. I'll do my best, Florence. There, there. Keep the hope alive. Reassure Florence about the fate of her daughter, Rose. Oh, I am cleaning up in the achievements today, yo. So we can... Okay. I think we've seen it. Let's leave. Let's leave. Great idea, Patrick. But the only exit is through the gift shop. Or is that what it is? Not the gift shop. The, uh... Oh, what is it in Sony? Because the only... It's, uh, the perfume, uh... The perfume aisle? What are the... They have a certain thing. If anyone remembers what that is, please remind me. Because that's a hilarious bit. Anyways. Welcome home. Are you all right? Yeah, let's talk case. Start with the general primer. What's the connection between the girls? They all worked at the bite together. That's a great find. How do you know? What is? Why is that important? Because Rose Clemenko recruited them all. So, do we know something about Rose that sheds light on it all? She's been gathering sensitive intel on guests for Clarissa. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Bear with me. The the bite had two types of clients. They have ha they the haves and have nots. Which ones were mined for were mined for blackmail material? Like the police chief and folks from Science City. Exactly. Lower class no names that Clarissa knew no one would miss were killed for the flesh. Like your erstwhile friend Jeremy Green. Jeremy Green, that's his name. I didn't see him on the list of clients there though. But I guess the thing is is that he wasn't like an important one. So there's no reason to collect blackmail information on him. Right, and then they blackmail police chief and science city workers. It's an ingenious setup, to be fair, and don't leave me in suspense. Did you find any of? Did you find any of the intel? Yep, especially on a senior scientist named Eddie Hung. Okay, so what's Eddie's deal? Both his and his minister files mention Project Artifact. I think it's our next lead. What do you think it is? No idea. And he's a biochemist, that's all we know. 
Wait. Is that the same guy from Science City report we found in the minister's files? Must be. Genes, proteins, biochemistry, it checks out. We have to look into what this project artifact entails. Clearly, Clarissa is interested in it. I don't know, Renee. Science City, that's some serious shit. Did you learn anything? Did you learn what happened to the girls? There were hints that they escaped the city. The fuck? How? Why? Someone called Dio smuggled them out. Then I'd sure like to ask this Dio some questions. Could there really be something beyond the wall? Sure. A blasted wasteland. Being outside the wall is death by exile, not an escape. That's what I'm afraid of. This is a lot to process. We need a new plan. We can do plans. We've always got a plan. Damn, there's still so much we don't know. You did great, though, especially not to get killed. Feel bad for Florence having to live like that, not knowing. We'll get her, her the answers she deserves. Anyways, let's talk next steps. Finding Eddie Hung and learning about Project Artifact. all been leaning to this i'm ready do you want to go over the facts get everything straight in your head sure you can never be too prepared good i agree what do you want to talk about don't we already have plenty of evidence what we have is knowledge that's very different to convincing proof we can connect clarissa's murder clarissa's murder basement to the apes and how are you going to prove that to the public or the police? Lewis will testify. Lewis, he spilled to you, but Clarissa has probably already covered up that whole front. Lewis, he spilled to you, but Clarissa. Fuck, we got nothing. If we give up now, it's all been for nothing. We still have a lead. Fine, let's follow the lead. All right, I, I feel pretty uh, clear on everything. I'm done talking, let's plan. You pay Eddie a visit at Science City and find the answers. Then we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. Even if I find Eddie, how do I make him talk? Just employ your usual charm. Oh, sure. Try my way into science. I'm not going to say that one. I'm going to say, and if it doesn't work. Honestly, do whatever it takes. It'll be our biggest chance to cl corner Clarissa. You make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You're a good detective. You'll figure it out. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's the spirit. But after that, I need a break. Deal. But first, we eat. I'll go grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it for once. Sure, be safe. Yep, it's coming up. But busy now. I'll call you back tomorrow. Bye. Oh, it's like her publicist or something. Put your feet up. I'll be back soon. All right. Sounds good. All right. I'm going to leave it there for today's session. Uh, a lot of goodies. We're kicking out a lot of goodies. I did... Uh, uh, when I originally played this, I just looked up how long the story is. They were saying it's roughly about like four to five hours. So I think we're... 
about on hour three, maybe three and a half. So probably one more session at at least. Uh, two more most, I'd say. Uh, maybe the next time we uh, just sit down and really play it. I might even continue on after this and just end this particular episode here. Uh, kind of peeking if you want to peek behind the curtain to see how the sausage is made. Um, anyways, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching, guys. Like and subscribe if, uh, if it's not too much trouble. No, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back with more Backbone very soon. Thanks again for watching. Peace the fuck out, everyone. See you later.